Well, stop them for another night, maybe two. What a day of coaxing that 30,000 pound motor home up the hills and then trying to convince it not to run away on the way down the hills. The girls, of course, all want to pull into these sightseeing spots that aren't really designed for bringing a house into them. So there was a few problems dealing with that. We made it here. Now we'll unhook the cars, or, or one of the cars, and go tootling around tomorrow. Now another one of these cool beaches. Well, this would be uh, really something to be here on a hot summer day. How's this for a cool restaurant? I'm assuming it's some kind of a 50s theme. And they got a whole bunch of cars hanging out the front. Walk around a bit. Yeah. Pretty cool. Well, here we are in Eugene, Oregon. Uh, we needed to stop here because John was having some problems with his car. We wanted to wanted to find a, uh, a Toyota dealer to uh, help us uh, to check this thing to see what's wrong with it. Turns out there's uh, nothing wrong. Everything's okay, so we'll be moving on tomorrow. The girls are up doing a load of laundry. We watch a little TV tonight and then head straight south. I think we're going to try to blast while we're at Eugene. We're going to try to blast straight through to California. Maybe get some sunshine for a change. Well, here we are at the last website or the last website, the last uh, uh, place we stopped. Beautiful spot now that we see it in the morning. There's my patch job that I did on the uh, trailer plug-in after it got ripped out when the trailer hitch came off. But that's another story. We're driving through this small town and uh, we're trying to stay on Highway 101. And the directions are a little confusing at one point where the road almost takes a Y. Uh, and at any rate, there looked like about three different options. The GPS is saying turn left. At any rate, I ended up choosing the wrong turn. We ended up heading down a residential district. No place for 60 feet a unit. Then the GPS tries to correct our course by taking us into some very narrow streets. So I managed to wipe off a signpost, swing around and come back. And the, the exit to get back onto 101 was not designed for a 60-foot motorhome. Consequently, it ripped off the, uh, the trailer hitch and uh, pulled out my wiring. Uh, took us a couple hours, but we got back on the road. This is actually a beautiful park. I think we're going to be heading out, though, fairly quick. You can actually see the ocean back here. So at the end of this campsite, we can actually walk down and uh, see the ocean where the big crashers are coming in. Some pretty good waves. We have to cross two highways. Yeah. Well, I don't want to see it that. There's a path that kind of leads. Oh, no, we're at. Oh yeah. Grab my camera. The beach at Trinidad. Got a little lighthouse. Pretty excited. I think she knows she's going to get a chance to go for a run. There's Jean halfway up the stairs, sitting down having a rest. Well, I think he's going to take a crack at coming up the last flight. Several flights of stairs to get down to the beach. Guess when they had the dog down there yipping, it. Uh, yeah, they found themselves calling the seals in with the dog barking. So that was kind of interesting for them. A couple of 
bolt's heading out. What's that? Yeah, get yeah, was saying. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to see the beach that bad. Here's the spot we got to uh, on the uh, Friday the 13th of November. Uh, this one's worked out really nice. The uh, uh, Wi-Fi is what it uh, is claimed to be. And uh, we've managed to get some traveling time in. Uh, of course, in, in keeping with uh, uh, tradition, we've managed to screw something up already. I have this extra hose that I put on the sewer line to uh, uh, get us, uh, or when we when we have to go a long way with the sewer. <clears throat> At any rate, this time I didn't need the long hose, so I just left it laying on the ground. Well, I left it laying on the ground while I was putting the jack down. So as you see, I have a flattened sewer hose now. So, all part of the adventure, I guess. Beautiful place. This guy uh, that we registered with as we rolled in, he had just got back from pulling his crab traps out and a bunch of crabs in there. So Here's a shot of the, uh, the crabs in the trap. I suggested if he had a few extras, we could find a home for them. Uh, to our delight here last night, he, uh, he cleaned some and uh, and pre-cooked them and brought them over for us and so we had uh, fresh crab for uh, for supper well that was fun gail made up some garlic butter and we were ready to eat here comes gail and the dog she was telling us that her showers aren't working out too good the uh, uh when showering in the motor home the hot water runs out before the shower is finished so She's not really enjoying that very much. I just want to see if uh, video will capture. It is basically, if there ever was an enchanted forest, forest this this will be it. It is just breathtaking. Get two of them, two yeah. big trees there. Why don't you guys walk closer to the tree? Go closer to the tree. Just climb up about three edges. <laughs> <laughs> that is just amazing. Isn't it? Something else. Oh, okay. Oh. That's wow. okay. Wow, look at this tree. Just think what kind of a house it would make. Can we get what, oh. transplant one of them in our yard? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, we'd become a tourist attraction. Oh, Jeez, I'll say. <laughs> 